Hello, hi guys, my name is Sinjay and welcome to episode 3 on the Vault Hunters SMP. And I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions as to what on earth I'm wearing. Well, yeah, I probably should explain myself a little bit. So in between episodes, I actually ran quite a few vaults. I actually ran a few co-op vaults as well. Fuzzy Cub was actually on the server live streaming and I joined and he actually invited me to run a co-op vault with him. But not only him, we also ran it with CWG Code... I think Starcat was there, Evett was there, Chris was there, Fuzzy and myself, and all of us went and ran a couple of co-op vaults, which was awesome. Unfortunately for me, they, those guys are a lot higher level, and I was very squishy, shall we say. So I needed a little bit of assistance I don't usually like to take, but Code and CWG actually came through for me and were very nice enough to give me their old sort of vault gear. Stuff they don't use because they're a lot higher level. So they gave me this really cool vault helmet. They gave me these um, boots. They gave me this vault armor, which is pretty cool. Look at this. I've got a ukulele on my back. I'm pretty sure this was CWG's because I'm fairly sure I've seen them wear it before. That's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. Also gave me this really cool shield as well. And they also gave me our very first sort of vault um, weapon as well. So we've got a vault axe, which does a lot more damage than my regular axe did. So I'm very happy to have that. But I actually have some footage of that live stream um, that I took. And I want to show you guys some of it just now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's very long. Hello. <laughs> well. Oh, you look all really cool with your you really cool it. gear, and I'm still in netherite. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> You're getting there. Getting there. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to, like, you know, give give you some gifts, because I've got some stuff. I didn't count myself. All right, now. Yeah. Uh, all right, lead the way. Ornate. Frail. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh and frail. And there's more buckets. Okay. No. No. What? No. What? No. Oh. Why? I, I just walked it. into the room and I was like, oh, I thought I died, but I didn't. <laughs> I was like, I thought you said there's no mobs here. Ah! <laughs> Mob farm ever, but I'm getting there. There, now I got some feather fog. Oh, perfect. To get Thank you very much. <laughs> what? Beginner's guys just a normal something. beginner's grade. Not quite there's as ornate, time. but you know. Yeah, I'll get the spawner. <laughs> Oh, that's the that's the bad factory room. Run. Go for it, man. Oh, this is oh jeez. So Never-ending zombies. How did you get up here? Um, waterfall to the side. Uh, I need oh, found a monolith. monolith. I found a monolith. Whoa. Let's go. That's kind of bad. Nice. These blocks take so long to <laughs> nailed it, Sinji. Nailed it. <laughs> did you get it? No, no, I'm going in for it now. I was waiting to see what was going to happen. <laughs> you were going to see how much death I was going to do. Yep, I was like, I'm not getting killed here again. <laughs> okay, yep. That works. Oh, I'm okay with it. Okay, love you, yeah, bye bye. bye. <laughs> hey. We don't love you, it's because we love our stuff more. Uh, that's true. Oh, goodness. Level up. Nope, level up. Level up. Yay. Level up. I hope you guys enjoyed those co-op vaults. It was a lot of fun doing it with all the guys. It was the biggest amount of people I've ever played with uh, on, on Vault Hunters anyway, and it was awesome to be able to run all the vaults with the guys, even though I was, as I say, a tad bit squishy at times. But I want to go through some of the gear I got. Yeah, So I actually kept all the stuff I got. We got managed to get a monolith crate. The, the whole lot of us did a monolith vault. We managed to successfully do that. I've got a couple of relic booster packs. I've got a couple of mystery boxes. I also got some vault diamonds. We've got some knowledge essence, even more of that. Managed to get some more ores. So we've got some leather mar. We've got we've got a couple of Benny boys, which I'll need to you know um, loot you know put looting on. We managed to get a first painite ore. Got some more you know chromatic steel, and um, we got our first vault ingot, and as well as a couple other things here or there, but nothing else that's really that important. But what I want to do is I actually want to open our monolith crate and open our relic booster pack and also open our mystery box. Let's hope for echo gems. Right, this is the first time I actually ever had a monolith crate. So I don't know what you get inside them, but I'm hoping it's something good. Well, let's see. Ooh, shiny stuff. Let's have a look. So we got refined carbon. Um, wow, nine chromatic iron. That's pretty cool. Uh, regret chunk, a wealth focus, more vault meat, nether ingot, and an amplified focus. That's actually a lot of good stuff. I really like that's going to help us a lot. Right, let's open our relic booster packs. Hopefully we can get, oh, we got our first relic. 
Uh, what is it? It is from the Elemental, so the Earth Relic. Oh, that's really cool. Of course, we need to collect another four to actually finish the, the, the whole set, but we got our first Relic. That's awesome. Right, mystery boxes. Let's hope for the super luck this time like we had last episode. So we get diamonds. Always a good start. Ooh, another one. Pretty sure it's Painite and gold. That's fair enough. We have... It was Painite. Yeah, perfect. Oh, well. I am very happy with our haul. Of course, we've still got an unspelled skill point, so let's spend that just now on something. I'm not quite sure particularly what I want to be taking right now because we can also spec into this as well. Of course, speed would be great for the vaults. I can run a bit quicker, but so would haste. Actually, no haste. I'm not too fussed about it. Strength would be really good because it can give us more damage. Speed or strength would be awesome, but I would really like to actually take more in the heal ability. So if I could upgrade that, even further yet, because in cooldown would be 8, it would only cost 25, it's still only here for 4, but it means that we could heal a bit quicker, I wouldn't have to wait as long. But then, dash, hmm. and again it only cuts 1 second off the cooldown, so it's not as much. Nope, we are going to go with heal. I think on the level crystals we'll be on with the gear we have, I think we should be okay. Yeah, I'm going to go heal. There we go, it's done. Heal level 2. So now we it's only 8 second cooldown, it only costs 25 mana. Oh, the next one's 6 seconds, only costs 20. It still only heals for 4, but that'll be a lot quicker. But we need to level up first. What I'd actually like to do now is actually take that nether ingot that we got out of our monolith crate. And I actually want to be able to upgrade my pants. Yes, yeah, so I want to upgrade my, my leggings just a little bit. I'll add, I think it adds like one more extra armor. Yeah, it does. Let's just pop that right on there. I'm not even going to hesitate on that because it's just a little bit more. Until I get vault leggings, I'm going to still rock with these. I might want to put Unbreaking 3 on because I've only got Unbreaking 2. Um, everything else has, yeah, Further Fall Unbreaking 3. My, obviously, I won't be able to my Elytra and then, yeah, Unbreaking 3. So probably we'll put Unbreaking 3 on this as well. But yeah, that gives us a wee bit more protection. But what I want to talk about now is kind of what I want to get into today. Now we've got a couple of things I want to get into today and one of them being the mailbox. Everyone else has a mailbox on the server and I want one too. I want to be able to send mail to people and I want to receive mail. Why am I the one left out? <laughs> I know why because I'm so far behind but I want to get a mailbox so that's something I want to, that's what I want to do today but I also want to take a look at our bounty table. The problem I've had been having running vaults recently is I took this bounty in the last episode which is this one right here which was mine seven benetite ore. I haven't found any. <laughs> I've run like four or five vaults and I've not found any. Um, I did. There was a couple found here or there when we were doing the court vaults, but it was mined before I could get to it. Um, so I didn't obviously get a chance to do it. So I actually want to abandon this one. I know you're probably screaming at me like, Zenji, what are you doing? Why are you ab abandoning this one? It's a really good one. It gives you, you know, vault boots and stuff. It's just not working out for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Let's hold it and abandon it. Done. Now, what I'd like to really do is I'd actually like to... See, I get an abandoned penalty. That's fine. But I want to actually re-roll some of these because some of them, they just ain't working for me. Right, I've got some Vault Bronze here. Let's re-roll some of this. What we do is we just click on the one we want to re-roll. So I'd want to actually re-roll this one because I've not found any Drowned Hide whatsoever. So let's do that. We've got our Vault Bronze here and let's just click Reroll Bounty. It's going to cost me nine Vault Bronze, but that's fine. And then what that's going to do is it's going to reroll kill entity. So basically what we need to do now is description, kill zombies in vault, and I need to kill 44 zombies. I think that's doable. It only gives us chromatic current, a vault diamond, Laramar, and a mystery egg. So, you know what? And it's only 621 vault XP. I don't want that one, either. let's reroll, reroll again. Of course it's going to cost me 9. Let's see what we can get. We got a mining one. Ashia more. Again, I just don't think it's something I'm going to want. I'm going to reroll again. <laughs> Item discovery, drone hide again. You do get an elytra. It's just something I, I'm just not going to. Let's reroll until we actually get something we want. See, this could be okay. Um, it only gives 219 vault XP, but the objective is to complete any vault, and I can do that. Yeah, I've decided we're just going to go with this one. Call me crazy. I know the rewards are not great, but I actually just want to finish one of these because it was frustrating I wasn't able to finish the last one because I couldn't find any of those. So let's just activate this one. We have this one active. Let's complete a vault. That is one of our objectives for today is run more vaults, and we should get this one finished. I need to get this vault altar finished, though. Luckily for me, I almost had it done. All I need was two more spider eyes. Boom, and then press the button, and we get another glorious vault crystal give me that crystal there we go perfect and this one should be a level three perfect yes it is let's stash this away just now because i actually want 
to get angry about two level threes, which is perfect, which we record on two volts today. But I want to get my mailbox because I, w I want to send mail and I want to receive mail. Also, maybe to get another portal set up at some point as well. Right, mailbox. I think it's actually fairly easy to craft up. We just, I'm just going to make an oak one. I'm not going to make a fancy one because I've heard there's actually problems with the modded wood uh, making mailbox. It doesn't receive. Um, I think it's like a little bug just now. So we're just going to make a, a, a boring old oak one just now. So this is the actual recipe for it. It looks like it's just a chest. An oak upgraded fence. How do we make that? So it's just two logs and two sticks. This looks fairly simple enough to make. Right, let's pop. So we've got our chest, we have our two things, and bam, we have our oak mailbox. Right, where can we slam this for just now? Because I we don't know, this is all temporary. Yes, we are going to get to create a base, and it is going to be a really cool base. I just don't have the necessary resources right now, and it is going to involve the cave over there, and all this landscape here, and I know I've not talked about it at all, but that's totally by design, because I haven't finished designing it yet but don't worry we'll get there we'll get there the, the, the crate mod's really going to help us but we're a few knowledge points away anyway yes i, I get distracted so easy let's pop this down so i probably want to see it incoming i never mentioned this before evett gave us a christmas present and it was cookies and two ender chests so thank you evett if you're watching that was great of you thanks very much for the christmas present i'm actually going to pop it just right here i think um pop it right there and that gives us so if we, you know if we get a mail the mail is shown here but what i also need to also make is i need to make the sending service and what we actually need is a post box just as you would imagine it would be so if we click here you can see this is the actual recipe for the post box it's iron which i think we're going to totally struggle for <laughs> no we have plenty of iron um, and it's a blue shulker box so i just need to grab one of my shulker boxes that i'm going to be using for the vaults i'll just transfer it to blue and we'll make a post box and this will allow us to send things to people which is going to become really handy because we should have to run around all the bases and deliver things if need be. Well, I'm looking forward to getting mail. Right, if we just craft this up, we'll just put the shulker box in. We'll cover it with iron round it and wabam, we have a post box. So if I can just pop the post box here and if we click in here, then you can see a list of all the people who have a post box set up, which I would imagine is probably the majority of the server at this point. So that's going to make, oh, there's me. Um, so it's probably going to make a little easier. So what we do is we take like say an item. So say we want to send CWG, we pop like a golden carrot in, we would click CWG and then we would send it and then that would send him a golden carrot. It's really easy there's not much to it and it just means that that way we can receive mail and we can also send mail and speaking of cwg there's something i want to do for him and code since they gave me this awesome armor to run the vaults when we were doing the co-op vaults and i have an idea of kind of what i'd like to give them now i really wish i could give them some awesome stuff unfortunately they're a bit further ahead of me so they have a lot more stuff than me but i have an item that this guy provides that i can give them that i mean who doesn't love and it's this one right here right i've got a box each we have one for cwg and we have one for code mc now the books are the exact same it's just a little thank you book i'll just get this out for you, you can read it so just saying hey c dubs just want to give you a gift that no one can refuse free cake i mean come on who doesn't love free cake thanks for the vault gear which you helped me get and i also thanks for my, my second vault run which was the vault run we did in the last episode your neighbor zinji it's the exact same i've wrote for code as well because code is our neighbor as well so we're going to head over to their bases and we're going to give them our lovely presence and welcome to the base of master cwg of course we're not too far to go because yep we're right across the river but let's just pop in and we can give cwg's presence so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a chest down probably just right oh what's he working on his vault or oh he's got some stuff um yeah CWG is a little bit ahead of me as you can see there's a lot more stuff here that I mean stuff I would like to get into like this for instance but yeah <laughs> let's not get distracted let's actually pop up his present this should be CWG's here uh, yes this is for CW so let's just pop this in we'll put it in the middle and then we'll take all the cake out and we'll put all the cake in and there you go c -dubs. I hope you enjoy your cake and this is my thank you to you sorry it couldn't be something better but I mean come on who doesn't love cake anyway let's go over to code's base and let's drop his off as well and welcome to the base of code mc which has changed since our first episode when we went past it yeah code got hit pretty bad with a prank his base got wrapped up um like a present so did his poor lamo it got wrapped up as well but <laughs> it was quite hilarious uh, there is a bit of a prank we're on the on the server right now looks like code's been hit by fuzzy again resist the resistance hmm it's something we may need to get involved with because i detect prankage alert 
But resistance is aside, let's actually pop the chest just at his front door because I think he actually uses this quite a lot. So just pop it right here. We'll drop the, the cake and the book off just so he's able to, to see it. Let's just grab the cake and pop on the chest. And there we go. Our package has been delivered. We've got our, obviously our, our book that thanks some and the cake as the thank you. Sorry, it can't be someone better, but I mean, come on. Who doesn't love a bit of cake? And while we're just at Codes, Code doesn't actually stay too far away from the actual spawn area, which we've not been to since we started. Um, and it obviously has a couple of shops and now we've got CWG's shop. I think we've got another CWG shop, which has popped up, which is the, the COD one, which is awesome. This looks like a slime shop, but the reason I'm here is the Christmas tree. I know Christmas is over, but I've heard there's actually a present for me or two here. And I think this is kind of what I'm looking for. Yes, there is. Ooh, I don't know who this is from. It doesn't say, but this is addressed to me. So it looks like we've got a mod box. I don't particularly want to use that right now. And I've heard, or at least I've seen, there's another one somewhere. Here it is. Corey has left me a scrappy pickaxe. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder why that one didn't say who it was from. Huh. Interesting. I think that is all I've seen so far. But yeah, I wasn't able, I wasn't really around at Christmas. So I wasn't able to give presents, but... I just want to give a thank you to the two guys who gave me this. That's very nice of you. Thank you for the early, or in my case, late Christmas present. Um, yeah, I should have paid more attention. But thanks. Right, I want to get to run another vault. Yeah, I want to do one more before this episode ends. But there are a couple of things I want to do before we do run a vault. And one of them's got to do with the black market. Yeah, I know I probably have not talked about this. But if we just go right here and that, this is the black market. We actually get soul shards every time we sort of kill mobs in the vault and the, the mobs drop this. And this is something you can spend your soul shards at. So you can actually get some high-end stuff. So I want to I wanna craft this, what is it? Four driftwood, one soul shard, three chromatic iron blocks. I don't have enough for that. We're good, turns out I had more than enough for it. So if I just pop these here, that there, that there, that there, and that there, and we have the black market. Now let me just pop this down. This is getting a bit ridiculous. I don't have any space. We really need to start building our base now. And maybe next episode we'll do that. If we put the black market down here, you can see these are the things that the black market sells. So we just pop in. Now this is an unknown item. You can spend 350 soul, soul shards, if I can speak, and it'll give you just like a random item out of all honors, essentially. Um, so it could be really be anything. It could be a pog. Who knows? But it does cost 150 or you can get a guarantee. So we've got Vault Goat for 20, we've got uh, Amplified Focus for 48, or we get 9 Vault Alley for 605. Currently, I've only got about 30, so really I could only get the Vault Gold. But this is something else we will do, and it refreshes every 24 hours. So it's perfect. So for Twitter Runner now, it'll be three different ones. So anytime we're running Vaults and we're killing enemies, this stuff's going to come in great because we may be able to get some high end stuff in the black market. And that's an easy way around not having to craft maybe pogs or who knows, maybe even an echo pog. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Now, one thing I have a constant problem in vaults is blocks. I always forget to take them, but I have been picking up this stuff called unobtainium. Probably not the most creative name, but if we pop it into the crafting grid, is it like that? No, maybe it's only four then. I think. There we go. We got an unobtainium block. Now, I've heard if you break this down, it gives you five. And if we do this again, it gives you another one. And then if you break it back in, it gives you five. Now this block, as you can see, basically just keeps on recycling. So if we chuck more in, we get more back. See what I mean? So if I do like another, we'll do like another five blocks, we do that. And if we chuck the five blocks back in, we get more back. So basically it just keeps on giving you blocks. So you can just keep on doing this basically forever until you have unlimited blocks. And I think this block here is going to be a good placeholder block for when round vaults so we know which way we've come and which way we need to go. I may have gone slightly over the top with the blocks, but you know what? Now we're going to have more than enough we need for running vaults and laying down markers for our way inside the vault. It's vault time. Right, vault crystal, open the vault, let's do this. Oh, and we have Christmas vault again, so let's run this. Hopefully we can pick up some decent stuff. I would really like to get uh, another chest plate because the one I have is very damaged and I'd also really like to get some leggings because I don't actually have vault leggings. Right, where are we going to go?
Not the gun buttons. Getting a slight bit of lag, hence why I'm up here with my bone arrow, because <laughs> I don't want to die. Um, I would really like to actually get through this vault and pick all the gear out of it. Um, pretty sure it was a fizzle spawner, I need to have a look. Uh, was it a fizzle fizzle? Yeah, it was a fizzle fizzle. Right. You can die. Thank you. Right, let's get down there and loot. Ooh, what we got? Uh, right, I'll take. I'm not gonna be taking everything. Uh, just I don't need like, you know, stuff like oh, bread and that anymore. It's just not really needed. So I'm only gonna take. I mean, I don't need iron. Let's be honest. I have all the iron I'll ever need. Uh, yeah, take stuff like that. Ooh, callus fragment. I'll take that. Um, that was a fizzle, which is good. I do like fizzle, fizzle. Fizzle, oh, another fizzle, fizzle. I like a good fizzle, fizzle. We've got a little bit of lag. Hopefully, it doesn't. It has killed me before once, um, but I'm hoping it doesn't affect this fault run. Uh, no, I don't want that. Another common. Another common. Lirimar, let's go. Hopefully, I can find some. Benny boys, I'll take all the vault stones, it's always handy to have. Let's do this, this is the easier way of doing it. Right, spawner down, let's take these guys out. Really, I said, I really would like some vault gear. Get out of here, get out of here. Perfect. I'm only getting commons. <laughs> Not my gum drop buttons. I heard another fizzle fizzle there, but no, we're all good. Uh, let me grab all this. Perfect. Oh, vault diamond. Let's go. No, not the buttons. Oh, not wow. My drop buttons. <laughs> that, was, that was a different one. Oh, there's a lot of people spawning here. I'm going to get out here. These guys take a lot of damage in the water because they're drowning, which is fine by me. You're a monster. I'm a monster, probably. Get out of here. I might maybe actually try and get this one. I don't have anything on my pick though that's really going to help me with this. The Muffin Man! Right, coin piles, let's do this. Right, I think I'm going to head out. I have I've looted a bit, but I'm also taking a lot of damage and I just kind of want to get out now. I've got a vault diamond and stuff, so I want to get out of this vault as quickly as I can before I take any more punishment. I've taken too much damage from my own liking um, and I need to be careful and I don't want to lose another vault crystal to die in. So let us get out of this vault. Whoa, perfect. Let's hope we get some decent experience. Oh, I think we might actually level up. Oh, we are so close. We must be like two XP off. Ah, oh, that's really unlucky. And this was our haul. We didn't get an awful lot. We, we did get some, we got some, we got one knowledge essence. We got some rock carbon. I've got another Benny boy. We've got some callus fragments, got some vault essence. Couple more than that scraps, some more letter marrow, chromatic iron, and then in this one we got ourselves another vault diamond, got a, a relic booster pack which will open in two seconds, and um, we got some more um, vault bronze which I was needing. We didn't get too much, we didn't get any vault gear, which is something I never seem to find. But let's just go through this relic booster pack, um, if I'm not actually opening, and of course we got nothing. But that is actually where I'm going to end it for today, guys. I have a lot of fun this episode. I've run a lot of vaults, and I'm probably going to do a lot more in between episodes because I really want to actually start getting more gear because this gear that I've had been given to me is obviously the time it's taken its toll, and I would like to get some more. But for some reason, I just can't seem to find it. But hey ho, that's the way it goes. Anyway, if you have liked what you've seen today, by all means, hit the like button down below. And if you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. That'd be very cool, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.